Sunday night we have a... Sunday of the day we have a podcast. Yeah, there's a podcast going on somewhere. Yeah, we established that nothing's going on with the podcast. Podcast. It's like we're talking about now, now. Dude, what are you talking about this week? Remember the beginning of the podcast? So I'm kind of catching remember, up. remember when we had to pause and delete something so that we could get more uh, space on the, oh, man, on the that tape? Was fun. That was classic. Oh my god! And that the thing that happens. happened in the middle that we swore we wouldn't talk about while Silver and Paul or my pause the thing. Remember that time Klingman's phone rang? Sorry, oh, that safety right dance. The, <laughs> the gayest ringtone ever. <laughs> it is pretty retro. That's, that's, that's my out of town ringtone. My in town ringtone is much cooler. I hear that Rory Rogers ringtone. has a ginormous cock. Oh, who's that? What now? Who told you that? That's just uh, slander. Yeah. <laughs> it just took a whole different turn. And how does Jesse know it's a lie? Uh, Big Jesse or Little Jesse? <laughs> Big Roy or Little Roy? <laughs> yeah. Did you say has a ginormous cock? Had, had but the Cougars attacked him and it was severely diminished. They really did. They were all over. <laughs> I was there. It was like white on rice. It was funny. Or it was really like and they were all outside. Or Bram on booty hole. It was the minute he walked outside, it was like <laughs> yeah. all these drunk girls were outside harassing. That was not a racist remark on Chris Martin's part. I would like that to be known. The black, white, or Asian, it's all brown when it comes out of the booty hole. That's absolutely true. Uh, every now and then it's a little green. Green, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Regardless, Tracy Morgan will still tongue it. Mm -hmm. Ugh. That's how you make girls fall in love with a market with professional. <laughs> so Lucky Buddha? Lucky Buddha. Lucky Buddha tonight, run by Mr. Paul Bass. Richmond's favorite black comic. What are you pointing me for? Because you're going to be on. I am. I don't know who I is. Bam Bam, I think I heard Bam Bam's going to be on it. Marquise Jeter. Marquise Jeter. Uh, Jesse Thomas. Uh, maybe. Uh, tentatively, tentatively scheduled. All oh, performers such a change. Uh, Jason Klingman? Tentatively. Also. Got some domestic And you were talking about the venue itself earlier? Yeah, we've got, I mean, it's a bar. Um, we've got a gong. It has gong. Very sticky rice esque. Uh, very high stage, fun DJ. I remember last time it was just, uh, the crowd is very into it. And that can be a blessing or a curse depending on how into it they want to be. Um, my experience there was nothing but positive. Uh, oh yeah, it was great. It's an L-shaped bar. The stage is at the top of one of the L's. The people that were around the stage were really into the show. The people were at the bar, you know, take it or leave it. But it was a rally place, but it was very enjoyable. It was just a good room, and I'm glad Paul's doing it again. I like the part where the bartender bangs on the gong. That was a treat and unexpected. I thought that I, my time was done when he did that. <laughs> they also have the only Buddha statue I've ever seen with his hands up. Touchdown Buddha. Touch touch yeah, never see a touchdown Buddha. Crazy. It's located in Shaco Bottom, in Virginia. Correct. It's next to the art shop, right? Yeah. Next to the homeless guy. Next to Cha Cha's. Yeah. Down the street from the art shop. Which is I think they're all owned by the same company, or it's um, Probably. it was um, it's funny. It kind of goes back to uh, what Klingman saying. Uh, this is kind of a topic for the the etiquette portion, but it's funny how crowds like they think when they're talking, they're into it. Right. They don't know, and it's funny. It's like, like I like to tell people that stand up is one of those only forms. It's really the only form of entertainment where you've got the crowd has to not talk. Or they can't, you know, like with karaoke or a band, they're, they're more than welcome. They well, can opera talk really don't talk much. Right. By the way, the opera's going to be a Lucky Buddha um, on Tuesday. Nice. So. We're way funnier than the opera. I'm making my debut. Yeah. Andrew's got a guest spot. Yeah. He's doing five minutes. Love of him. Um, with the horns and the fat suit. He'll, he'll play the guy. He'll play Viking number three. Uh, it's good stuff. He's there. No Vikings in the there is this one. Okay. Don't even split the like, This is like the new. It's version. the remake. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the remix. Yeah. According to Muffin.com, my stand-up comedy is. Their algorithm says that my stand-up comedy is similar to Du Rosenklavier, which is a German opera. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, the red piano. You, no, In other words, if you like Der Rosenclavier, you'll like my stand Who, who doesn't like Der Rosenclavier? That's, 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 that that's a position, isn't it? Sexual position? It is now. I think that's when you bend over and lick your booty hole. That's the yeah. dirty Rosenclavier. Kind of <laughs> You're thinking of Cleveland Rosenclavier. You're yeah. thinking of the 30 Rock, Josh. <laughs> You need to sound yeah. like the judges on Last Comic standing here. <laughs> now I sound like the judges on Last Comic. Are we are we through with uh, Lucky Buddha? I suppose that place is so. Open. Fantastic room, Paul Bass, great guy. Jesse, you can get him late one day. Nine fifty five Comedy Club on Monday, open mic. What do you Bullock. say about this, Mr. Saucier, the sauce man? Ray Bullock will be back for this one. Yes. I missed the last two shows because of uh, Shakespeare. She's actually in, not pretend in. Not that I'm implying that Ray pretends to be in stuff. That was a callback to earlier. Uh -oh. well, speaking of callbacks to uh, earlier, guess who I saw in Kroger this morning? Andy Dick. No, Blake Midget. What? what? Didn't he leave yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. It's possible. He's putting up fake Facebook updates <laughs> to make us think he's there. That boy has left Richmond more times than a furniture store. I mean, we could just trend the chlamydia transmission rate and find out if he's here or not. That was a statistics joke. That's why it wasn't that. funny. You'll get that on the way home. What, a <laughs> Oh, nice. I thought you only got it from toilet seats, but that's when a nice story. When you were car. <laughs> my other car is a toilet seat. My other Lydia. bumper sticker is a toilet seat. My other bumper sticker is a bumper sticker. My other disease is AIDS. <laughs> well, that just, yeah. My bumper sticker. You're running along, and then you just hit a wall. <laughs> my bumper sticker is an honor student. That uh, uh, yeah. these Don't are all me. these are all David Murray Garland jokes. Not the AIDS one. That was all. Clinton. That was all. Clinton. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's 100 percent Clinton. Sorry. When you think AIDS, think Clinton. <laughs> That's branded. Why do Magic Johnson's the only person that had AIDS and gained weight? No. While we're speaking of it. Actually, I met a lady once. <laughs> did the same he thing. He did. Yep. Uh, so the 955 Club, first 10 comics get on. They get to do 10 minutes. Sign yeah. up time is 7.30. Sign up time is 7.30. Show should begin at 8. Uh, is there a, a possibility of that place going to 5 minutes and 20 comics? Uh, it's still fairly new. Uh, I think, honestly, with scheduling, this is going to be our fourth open mic. So, uh, maybe, but I th uh, one of the big reasons to do it is to make it not be DM. Uh, well, it's not DM. It's what? Well. It's yes. not DM. Uh, I think the ten minutes, like, it'd be nice if we could get more people on. Maybe start earlier and run, uh, so we can run more time. Mm -hmm. Um... But I think the ten minutes is uh, is pretty cool to have the extra time somewhere on a regular basis. Okay. Cool. Bottoms Up Pizza is located in Richmond, Virginia, in Shaco Bottom. Not too far away from Lucky Buddha, run by Paul Bass, who's a good guy. <laughs> Not too far away from Aztec Grill. Run by Odyssey Michaels. Not too good guy. Not too far away from Fallout. Run by Josh Salcier. Who's a dick? <laughs> Who has chlamydia? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> and likes booty hole. Love booty hole. the special Salcier. <laughs> Fallout on Tuesday, Mr. Salcier. Run by Salcier. Good segue there. Sauce man. <laughs> Flying Salcier. I don't know. 
Yeah, there's nothing interesting to say about Fallout. The structure is... The last one was the best one ever. It was. They've, uh, each one has been the best one I like. They, they've gotten progressively better. Wait, was the last, last one where that batshit crazy girl yes. was? Oh, that was the best one yes. ever. Yes. Who's a really nice what girl. What the fuck is her name? Kate, Kate, Kate Moss. Moss. Her name is Kate Moss? Yes. Her name is Kate Moss. The model. This girl's name is just Kate because uh. we're still unsure on libel and slander. Okay. Uh, as I like to think of her next year's Natalie Holloway. Yes, that's a fairly <laughs> accurate. That wasn't a threat. That's just him describing her lifestyle. Life I got you, Chris. I got you, Chris. Chris Bain, Thoughts and opinions expressed by Chris Martin or those of Chris Martin alone have nothing else to do with anybody else sitting on the sofa. They're not threats, nor. They're not threats. If you would like to sue Chris Martin, sue the guy plans. from Coldplay. He's got more money. They're not plans, they're not options. That girl was batshit crazy. Yes. Oh, she's still batshit crazy. Gwyneth Paltrow? No. That's not a real name anyway, right? Uh, she claims it is. She can't slander somebody is. with a false name. I slandered a girl point. once. She never texted me back. <laughs> I slandered a girl booty hole. <laughs> that was slobbered. <laughs> Slather. I mean, it's not like a real name like Roy Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> or Chris Martin. Or Chris Martin. Google me. <laughs> yeah, sue the, sue the, sue the guy that comes up first on Google. Don't yeah. sue me. Don't Google Jesse Thomas. Without saving if you sue, if, if you Google Jesse Jarvis, the first name that comes up is a white supremacist in West Virginia. Yeah, he moved to Richmond and became a comic. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cook. It was actually in like New Hampshire. You moved to New Hampshire and became a comic? No. Yeah, it's New Hampshire. I'm sorry. I always, I'm slandering West Virginia here. Sorry. It's easy to ditch Gene. It's like before. West Virginia and white supremacy. Oh, is the guy like, from West Virginia is the one that stood up for it. That makes you're fine. Sense. West Virginia is not going to watch this. West Virginia well, is we, in the his house right now. So we'll put it somewhere they'll never see it. We know like one senator who used to be in the KKK who's not going to be watching it. Hey. Yeah. We're from a small town in West Virginia called West Virginia. The state that became. Andrew, did West Virginia jokes ever get old? No, I don't think so. Most of them start out old. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's like it's like anything else, you know. It's like if it's funny, it's it's funny, but most of them, you know, like Chuck Norris. Yeah. Chuck Norris. What percentage have to do with sleeping with family? And bad teeth. Let's not forget and bad, bad teeth. teeth. Yeah. But you got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah. Being poor, no no plumbing, um, all that. Yeah, that's that's about it. They don't have the really good ones combined, like all right. those. Oh, that's good. <laughs> right. The hurricane. You can go for the trifecta. Six million dollars worth of improvements. Yeah. <laughs> Came out on the winning side in the Civil War. <laughs> that's true. Look where they are. Same bangers. So are we through with Fallout? Do you have anything more to say about Fallout? Uh, it's it's a lot. It's of getting fun. better and better and all the time. It's confusing as hell. Dave Kamrick, you fool! I love it. There's there's cheap food and cheap beer. What, what, are, the, what are the PBR specials? The food is very delicious, and the yeah. PBR comes in mason jars, which is cool. Are we allowed it's to like say this under yeah. ABC regulations? And check with Jackie. We can yeah. say whatever we want. Yeah, they they it's can't say it, but we're just telling our fans yeah. and we're just, followers. We're just passing. Yeah, you know. Long rumors. Yeah, so <laughs> we're, we're slandering. Fallout. It's dollar PBRs, right? Just like when I say extreme pizza they, is the best pizza ever had. Why well, have normal when you can go to the extreme? Extreme pizza located on Broad Street. <laughs> the difference is that one was wrong. They come in like the little mason jars or little ball jars. Was slander fest. That was not slander. That, that was for yours. I'm just saying. That was a big up. If perhaps extreme pizza <laughs> you would like to sponsor me, I am more than happy to wear a shirt on the video podcast and declare my love for extreme pizza. Try the extremely twisted sticks. I recommend that we all have sponsors by next week. <laughs> I'll be sponsored by Candy Valley Cake Company. www.candyvalleycakecompany.com. Yeah, I had my first cake pop. Andrew Andrew probably after sponsored the show by, last week. Uh, I gotta say. And, and how was this delectable Hollywood? That was the day. chocolate chip. Oh. Was that the chocolate or the? I think it was. It was. It was white with tiny chocolate sprinkles. There was chocolate on the inside of the chocolate cake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where's the new ones? Are they was it key lime uh, or key lime was this week? It was uh, very successful. Booty hole that came good. Booty hole, <laughs> right? Booty hole pops. Booty hole pop company. <laughs> chocolate, uh, chocolate chip banana bread. This is a new one. Uh, Endorsed by Tracy Morgan. Right. Is there a way you get chocolate and corn? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Rice lemon pound cake. <laughs> Just talk over, over this. You. Just talk so, over yeah. this. Coming soon. soon. I can say Candy Valley Cake Company makes delicious products, but as far as uh, the, the great desserts, but as far as main courses go, Extreme Pizza located on Broad Street is <laughs> far and away the best. And the only way to make it better is to top it off with a trip to Paper Moon, either downtown or south side. Stop in every Wednesday night for amateur night. Who knows who you'll see? Paper Moon. Probably have to Coming soon around. to Club Velvet, right? No, is it? Uh, no, That's Club Velvet is competition for Paper Moon, no, and no, they no, run no, hookers. No, paper, paper Moon has bought Club Velvet. Or one of them is bought. In that case, I was unaware of that before I made my statements about Club Velvet. I'm sure it'll be as great as Paper Moon, Southside, or Downtown. The guy who owns Daddy Rabbits, I guess. The most the textural. The guy that owns uh, Percy Donner. Yeah, all right. Daddy Rabbits. Isn't Daddy Rabbit's slogan, it's not herpes if it's everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's counterproductive, but possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Truth in advertising. <laughs> And that was, there on that was <laughs> Travis Charles who just said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Travis Charles is the Okay. Strip court. We're recording this? Paper Moon. <laughs> yeah. Daddy Rabbit. Oh, thank <laughs> God. We're not having rabbits. Paper Moon, Extreme Pizza. Strip Club. Pizza. Breakfast yeah, of Champions. Red Stack. You can get you can get Candy Valley cake pops at the Funny Bone That's right. in the Short Pump Shopping Center. What, what? Doesn't Candy Valley also have a bakery that they deliver to? Somewhere catering. Mm -hmm. Is anyone still watching they do this? Cupcakes. <laughs> They're online at www. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're doing that right now. They've fallen in, out they of fall. the matrix. Out of, uh, you're a terrible spokesperson. Your sponsor's gonna drop you. Plus, your company needs a prettier face. It's well, never tested for you. Yeah, about I like They're available at www.candyvalleycakecompany.com Candyvalleycakecompany.com Candy Valley Cake I'm going to be like the marionette. Or the, what do you call it? Har Harlo yeah, ventriloquist dummy. Oh my god, actually that would be a hell of an act. Do it. Right. No, we tried his hand up my ass. It did not work. You guys could do Yogi and Boo Boo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey there, Andrew Boo. Tracy and Doo Doo. So what's happening Wednesday? Aztec Grill. It's a book who's show. On, who's on that show? Jared Cullum. And some other people. <laughs> I'd watch an hour. That's pretty much every show, isn't it? It's like Jared Cullen and somebody else. I would, I would watch Jared for an hour. Hated it. That could be a show. I watched him once through his window for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's been kind of creepy ever since. I want to give Chris another PBR. This is fun. No, I want to watch Joanna for an hour. Oh. Hey! Yeah. I, know oh, they watch, I know they watch these. There's, there's a fine line between podcast and police confession. Yeah. <laughs> I know Jared. I think we crossed it. Stocking, stocking. Yeah. Mm. I remember one night, uh, Jared and I were discussing the fire points of comedy over extreme pizza at a paper moon. <laughs> and, uh, Johanna, he did not go to paper moon. Paper moon located. Jared did not go to paper moon. In the middle of the turnpike. Perfect for retirements, birthday parties, bachelorette parties, bachelor parties. Speaking paper moon. Try the bachelor party. And confirmation parties. And confirmation parties. Uh, paper moon. Confirm that you're straight. This was barring by. Should watch one. Let's go to the strip club. Does anybody have? <laughs> That's where we should have had podcasts. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Don't pass I think this is think? a good point. I like to talk to girls named after spices. He's pointing at me. I'm getting saddle up, surrender. Right Andrew had a good idea, uh, which is comedy at strip clubs, and that really didn't get discussed. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> I would, be like, I would rather see strippers at comedy clubs. It's uh, it's been done as a lot of times. That's how Jay Leno got, got his start. Yeah. Yeah. Really? People sure. used to yeah. flick cigarettes at him while he was doing the stand up. Yeah, they still do. Yeah, no. uh, it's mostly coated though. I do can't have any uh, that chin. And they're Marlboro cigarettes. I'm aware. Oh, by Philip Morris. I'm aware. I'll take a little flack for this, but have you guys seen Flesh Dance? Yes. That's in Flesh Dance. The the guy goes up. Puts the guy who wants yeah. to be a stand up is like mopping the floor at a strip club, and he convinces him to let him go up on wow. stage. Sopranos too. Last Dance reference. 
I forgot that's, that part. Yeah. So, so I just remember the water. What was the main girl in Flashdance? Jennifer Beale. Yes. yes. Am I the only one here who has not seen Flashdance? I haven't seen it, but I just know it's Jennifer Beale. So Jennifer Beale, who you can see on Fox's Lie to Me on uh, Monday nights. Flashdance begins... Go bigger, go home. Your sponsor's local. I was more of a footloose <laughs> man. <laughs> if there had been no... <laughs> If there so had been say, no this podcast flashes. is brought to you by Islam. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Gates. Assalamu alaikum. Cream. If there had been no flash dance, there would be no showgirls. Thank that's God for showgirls. That's how important flash dance is. Oh, you're, the movie. You're oh, yeah. culturally depraved. That's, you're absolutely right, I am. Thank God for Jesse from Save by the Bell. Um, thank God for Dustin Diamond. There you go. <laughs> Who, like you don't thank God. For like Roy Rogers has science. an enormous eyes. <laughs> that one may or may not be confirmed. I think to God, this yeah, I think God took that one off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Science, you take this one. Jamie Fox. Porn. Let's see what Jamie Fox do. has an enormous cock too. But Dustin Diamond does porn, and he has a porn star's name already. Are you Dustin trying to get Diamond. sponsorship? Chris Martin now has the best cocks? sponsor. Rodney McDowell. <laughs> Just the name alone sounds like he has a big cock. It's a McDowell. Wow. Yeah, why would what those people called Caucasians? We should have the big cops. These were called Caucasians. Oh. Riley McDowell was English. Riley. The problem is the Riley, Asian part. Riley. Riley. Oh, yeah, Riley. Yeah, that's right. We got the land. Didn't put it all together. Riley was in the original Lassie. Was he? Yes. Hmm. He was oh. also in several. In Fright Night of the Apes. with Chris Sarandon. Fright Night was good. Wasn't he in every Planet of the Apes except for uh, Battle? Yeah. I don't know. No, he's a beneath. He's a beneath. I was, yeah, it was bad when he went in. He made, well, was he even in? No, because I'm not going to go into my nerdiness, but he yeah. was not. You are correct. Yeah. We will just gonna, correct that. Are you talking about the Tim Burton it? remake? No. Oh. No. no. That he should have been happens. in that somewhere. He's dead. They got Charles Nice. Who's dead? I don't care. Ryan McDowell. They've he? got uh, John Wayne Eight. doing beer commercials. Cancer. Cancer? Huh. That's a man's AIDS. Thought for sure. Cancer is what they call it when you die of AIDS and you're straight. <laughs> I might be going out on a limb and walking around and That's the All right. right. This kind of party. Maybe the funniest thing you've ever said, Saucy. <laughs> <laughs> no, the black ducks. So are we through the Aztec grill? Yes. So we ever really started the Aztec grill. Okay. Well, we don't know who's on it, so. Third people. Day. Somebody. Jared Cullen. Kazi's Thursday. Kazi's Thursday. I really need to make it out there, man. Yeah, you do. It's fun. Good times. Yeah. I'm just going to play a recorded radio show. The, uh, the comedy caravan will probably be in full effect. I've got six spots in my car if somebody wants to ride. Can I bring numbers? I'm hoping to make it. Yeah. I have candy out of business. I think if you bring hookers, you get uh, very first upset. priority. Yeah. Yeah. Can't make it. yeah. But that cuts down on the other comics. I mean, like they're not attractive. That's how you get shotgun. I'm going to try and make Yeah, we've uh, seen you bring the shows. <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, That's how I get a bit. Richmond has the 40 hour film project coming up this weekend as well. Oh, and you're it? in it. Uh, well, yeah, we paid our money. So, yeah. It's not <laughs> prestigious about being in it, but, you know. It'll be fun nonetheless. I'm what sure. kind of what what subject matter would you like? What genre would you like to draw if you had, if you could? Period like, piece. Vampires are in. Vampires are in. Um, Period I don't piece. know something I could make in my house without spending a lot of money. That would be great. Do you have like a warehouse full of props or oh, no. prepared? No, we have another room full of useless shit. Uh, hopefully, somehow we can fit a carry on machine. You've got two bicycles. You've got a our, chair. Uh, look, look at all the stuff's over. And John yeah. Reeves and the. You've got a period typewriter. Yes, I forgot that I karaoke them. machine. Yes. Hopefully they'll be uh, they will still be down for our team. And it kicks off Friday night at seven the, o'clock at the Campbell, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Pipe right there, just like really mm -hmm. so. I am now in the Internet Movie Database thanks to the Forty Eight Hour Film Project. And really? the porn you did in the eighties. Which which one were you with? Uh, well, this particular film was done a few years ago. It's called something Forties. Uh, and something. We filmed it at a uh, at a Union uh, Cemetery in Chesterfield County, and uh, like they pay dues. Union dues. No, no. Union, Union Army. Cemetery. They go on strike. 
We're not going to be dead stick, anymore. Stick with the cancer and AIDS jokes. Yeah, <laughs> stick with the black dick jokes. Stick with what you know. <laughs> so anyway, I, as a result, I am now in the Internet Movie Database along with 57 other Chris Martins. Very nice. Congratulations. My sister just, uh, just uh, had a movie released that she worked on. Uh, a low-budget horror comedy film set in Mobile, or filmed in Mobile, Alabama. Is it called Leprechaun? It's called Transmorphers. No, it's it's like a. I wish I could remember the title of it, but it's it's done by some company with the name Owl in it. Vivid Video. I didn't do my homework on this people. But anyway, um, coming soon to a DVD player near you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, am I really the only one that watched last comic? Yeah, yeah, talk about it. Nobody else did. I had, I mean, had to work, but now I'm fired. So I'm watching. There wasn't much to talk about. It's in about. my Hulu queue. Does that count for anything? I'm sure. I mean, there really wasn't that much to talk about. It. Talk about it. It has not stopped us before. Uh, there have been times where no one watched it and we talked about it. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like for the most part they got the people in this one that they should have. That they were good acts. Uh, Tommy Jonigan, Roy Wood Jr., Maranzio Vance, um, all those guys advanced. We should point out that Tommy Jonigan has played the Richmond, Virginia Funny Bone. He will also be back here in, uh, on Halloween weekend to do it again. Cool. So. Nikki Glazer went off last week? Uh, no, Nikki Glazer was this week. She was. Uh, uh, did anybody watch it the week before this, the first semifinals? Yeah, I did. Okay. They had like the, the groups where they pulled one person from each group. Like, both weeks in a row, in my opinion, they had, like, a group of five people that were easily the funniest ones on that show. <laughs> and they just had to pick one person, so the rest of the people was like, damn, if they were in any other group. But, you know. Whatevs. According to Mandy Statmiller, who is the uh, comedian and the a New York Times Post, I mean, New York Post columnist, Nikki just filmed a special with a bunch of other women comics. I think about I, two nights ago. I think I saw oh, yeah. pictures of that. I saw that on uh, Facebook. Yeah, Marina Franklin and Rachel Feinstein and Amy yeah. Schumer. Yeah. Yeah. Mandy Stadmiller being made, uh, famous somewhat for having been touched by Andy Dick, shall we say. Get in line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Pauly, not quite as famous for it. <laughs> you know who would So young, so jaded. You know who wouldn't have, have let you get molested by that dude? Extreme Pizza. Uh, the good people at Extreme Pizza <laughs> and Paper Moon, both downtown and Southside. Extreme Pizza is just one location, right? No, they have one in Short Pump now. They have a new one in Short Pump. Extreme Which is pizza. also, I believe, on Broad Street. It's right across from the Short Pump Mall. I do not know the name of the shopping center. It's center. hard to be extreme in Short Pump. No, they, they pull it off. Right. Everything they do is extreme. Vanilla Ice did it. Across from the Short Pump Town Center? Yes, across from the Short Pump Town Center. <laughs> it's it's pizza to the extreme. More than words. More than words. <laughs> God damn it, now I want pizza. Extreme pizza. It's worth the price. Mm. Are we through with Kazi's? <laughs> I forgot we even talked about Kazi. Extreme pizza! Excuse me. So, Friday, what's going on at the Funny Bone? <laughs> Close up of an empty seat. That that's going to be Deal Hughley then, me? Oh no, Big no, Al Goodwin. No, it's Chris. Big uh, Al Goddard. Josh, Josh Blue. Josh Blue. Blue. This Friday is Josh Blue. None no. of the other names mentioned. Okay, but uh, Deal Hughley is coming sometime, right? I think he's the week Next after again. Okay. Okay. When is Big Al Goodwin coming? Or Big Al uh, Goodwin Wednesday and Thursday. Is it? I think that's what Jesse said. We'll have to confirm when our source gets back, but I believe he said Big Al's here Wednesday and Thursday. That's great. Big Al's hanging out here. Yeah. Yeah. Was it richmondfunnybone.com? They have the schedule. www.richmondfunnybone.com. Also, purchase your delicious uh, cake, cake pops. pops there. If you'd like to become a VIP member of the Richmond Funny Bone, all you have to do is text the word funny to the digit 68247. You'll be entered to win tickets to upcoming shows. You also get information about upcoming acts. Also, fill out the comment cards at your tables. You'll be able to win free tickets to upcoming shows. Let us know what you thought and who you'd like to see. 
And be sure and say hi to Leslie and Matthew. Hi, Leslie and Matthew. So a uh, cake pops only move. cost two dollars at. Uh, at the Richmond Funny, we we the price them. Funny we price them to move. But it's thirty dollars a dozen otherwise. Watch yourself. So who's going to be? At, when is uh, when uh, what's, who's next at the uh, Funny Bone this weekend? This weekend we have Josh Blue Friday through Sunday. Uh, two shows Friday at seven thirty and ten o'clock. Two shows Saturday seven thirty ten o'clock. One show Sunday at seven o'clock. Uh, we have Big Al Goodwin coming in here for 7.30 shows on both Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, is he big? He's, he's moderately sized. <laughs> um, he's got a big head. He's, 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 he's extreme. He's, he's ginormous. <laughs> he's ginormous. <Yeah>. He's autistic. <laughs> big, Al is autistic. big Al is absolutely hilarious and worth checking out. So what are the color of Josh Blue's balls? Oh, if I recall correctly, plaid. Which was confusing, <laughs> but he has cerebral palsy, so maybe that has something to do with it. Orange. Apparently, he's pretty good with a blow dart and a football. <laughs> Should find out what his thoughts on the King Booty Hole are. Oh, okay. I think I sooner or later, we come back to that. <laughs> Much like Tracy Morgan, there's no way to escape the licking booty hole. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Or Did so, we have a discussion about a year ago with the funny bone about looking booty hole? Yes, Is that because a, uh, a friend of ours whose name rhymes with Gray Fullock uh, <laughs> admitted that he likes to lick booty hole. <laughs> that wasn't even a year ago. That wasn't even a year ago. That was about eight months or maybe six months ago. But moving on. <laughs> I think I, I saw think Ray. The whole 60 minutes. Is that even possible at this point? Where do you think you saw Ray? In a Kroger licking booty hole. <laughs> was it Blake's booty hole? <laughs> yeah, it was Blake Midget's booty hole. <laughs> or vice versa. Oh my goodness. So, uh, Jason, do you want to talk about your adventures? So, uh, we should introduce... My adventures? We, we should really introduce fallen. Jason Klingman. And I alternate between calling Jason. My nickname for Jason is King, but then sometimes I call him JK, which of course stands for Just Kidding. Just kidding. Right. Which do you prefer, JK or King? Uh, actually, I like uh, these. When I used to play basketball, they always messed my name up and called me Kingman, Kingman. So that kind of was a little name. Man. But I, I like JK. Kind of, cause it's okay. Just kidding. So uh, whatever you want, man. Just don't call me late for a dinner or the strip club. So uh, we like to we call Jason the man who put the funny into Petersburg. And the Peter in the Petersburg. Yeah, well, that we avoid the low hanging fruit here at this <laughs> podcast. Since when? I don't think I got the memo. And I want to give credit where credit is due. That phrase "low hanging fruit" is trademarked, copyrighted by David C. Wingfield, and may not be used without his <laughs> express permission. Or the express permission of the NFL. Well, as long as we're doing that, the term Lickin' Booty Hole is trademarked by Tracy Morgan, Inc. and cannot be used in conjunction with low-hanging fruit. And before you do lick the booty hole, be sure and take off your big boy pants. <laughs> yes. That's a callback to a previous podcast. Gotta catch them all. <clears throat> Collect all five. <laughs> So Jason, Jason, tell us how you got into comedy in Petersburg. Actually, you're from Hopewell, right? Yeah, but it's the same tomato. tomato. Okay, and you're the guy who's been putting on shows at Wabi Sabi. Yes. Okay. For ever since January. And you've year. had a cavalcade of comedy and a yes, cascade yes. of comedy stars. Yeah. Uh, I got into comedy basically because I cannot play any kind of music, and I wanted to get laid, and then I realized that. Comedians don't get laid as much as I thought. So, I don't know about you guys. Yeah, so. no.